ヘセセイガイスヒダゼンスゼンスゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴーゴ
Exactly the way he said him. What's with this son and father? Okay, I like how realistic it is. He's trying to find and he's Okay. Oh my my, how do we get things open? How would it be? Luffy versus Hawkeye. <laughs> Is this the old blue? We're in the middle of old blue that's thanks to the wave. Luffy and Dunkrik. I mean, Jin is gonna be the newest crew. He died? Please. <laughs> Oh, he followed him based on us admiration. Really? Can Luffy die? He's sleeping. Luffy finish him. Being unconscious, unconscious, he can put a fight like this. Okay, we need Jin. Oh, Jin! Mm. What? その人が目覚ましたら。グランドラインでまた会おうって。考えてみたら俺のやりたいことはそれしか。何かドンクリークの野望は俺の野望になってたらしい。ベッドゲンスマン、ちょっとライク、ホールヘッド。もしかしたら
that it's damaged. I also added string so that it wouldn't be blown away by wind when we were using motor motorcycle in Bali. So it stays in place. Anyway, let's talk about what happened in this arc. Oh, this arc is really a wake up call for all of us. Like this is an introduction of Luffy's character as well as Sanji's background as well as Z Zoro. And I think in just a matter of episode, we'll see why Nami acts certain ways. From what I heard on like earlier episodes, she has a dad, I suppose. So she has to like get it over with. So in, in return, she could be free. I have nothing, uh, oh, okay. I have something against her at first, but then we to be reminded again that she has a problem where like everyone in this group has a thing to deal with their their selves. I hope along the way they could settle these problems together. I mean, if Nami tell everyone what her struggle is, I don't know what is. Uh, I I mean, I know it's about money, but if they were working together to get into that point, that would be easier. If they work in a group they're probably easier to solve somehow. But maybe as a new group, they don't realize that yet. Although Luffy knows about that. And okay, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I think, I'm sorry guys, but I think Luffy and Don Creek kind of share the same, the same passion. It's just perhaps his vision and mission, okay, his mission is probably the same they want to get into the grand line but the way they get into that point is different because they have like different value and different point of view and of course different probably luffy started off meeting with to meet with the guy who gave him, him the the hat red red okay he met the right pirates but we don't know about don Crick's past he probably were in some kind of ship that has that like treat people like Alfie de Selma we don't know what behind his background is but they share the same passion at the same time don Crick also like believe he wouldn't be defeated so that makes him them the same kind of person I mean like the people who believes in their own strength that's a good start Okay, and second, they also have a crewmate. I'm gonna call Jin his crewmate because seeing how Jin finally punched Don Crick on the stomach and the stomach kind of show us that he is not his underlings, but rather he could be his friend. <sighs> Maybe he was blinded by his mission to carry on into the Grand Line that okay he, he's the kind of pirate who will take others like that like normal pirates i mean like there are so many pirates like that who want to take others possession for their own advantage we cannot like really blame him he's just doing his role he's an asshole i know but this just him being him the exciting part were when luffy kept losing we know that luffy will somehow win it one way or another but seeing how he kept his composure, how bad things are, favors gonna come to his way. Like that kind of fast positive attitude, attitude is exactly what also the Don Freak have. All blue sea. Where did we get there? Did we get there as this wave crashes? I mean, like we were brought there by the waves, or how? And I like how realistic things were. I like how when Sanji were diving into the water to get Luffy from the chain, he was like gasping for air actually, but he's like holding it again. He was about like, his face on the last scene were about, like he was about to pass out. But after he saw the light, he was like, okay, okay, uh, we're getting there. And then finally the resurface and everything's going back to normal. Also, I have a question. Does Luffy can't really die? And now we have Sanji. I think Sanji will want to be in our crew. But the main problem is we don't have the ship. Like, how do we get, how do we get into our mission if we don't have ship? Like the last ship that we have, we gave it a Don Creek. I think we really have to watch for another episode now. Is this Luffy? Ah, 
こにああったったねえスプランドラインでまた会おうってよ銀河言ってたぜ銀河おめえにかえめえにだよところでお前ほら行かねえぞ海賊おいたぶしゃろってほんびでパイレットでさせるなわかった諦めるてが諦めてねえあれられねえよどいつもこいつも頼りになる俺もいつか行こうと思ってるぜグランドラインへ<笑>
い出してんだろうあ,あクソじじいもともと俺はガキが嫌いなんだ上等だよクソじじいせいぜいよせい楽しめよエポドンフォーこれが会場レストランか<笑>大悪党だろうと食いたくて食いたくてこの店にたどり着いたくそ俺たちがこの店で戦い続ける意味をああどうだたくつまずいのちびなすわ<笑>こ<の人><笑>
Sanji already become much more mature and stronger than right now. And it's surprising that even Luffy doesn't want to take the book, the log book that Crick had, and he kind of saw it coming. It's come kind of like a cheat code if he look at the log book. He's supposed to sail the sea. Okay. Okay guys, I think that's it for this episode. I'm really thankful that I watched this one with all my heart and with my stomach full. So I don't think about anything while watching with this. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.